$10,000 gold. We are going to get there. I'm going to tell you exactly the reasoning why. All the points that are driving gold prices higher, you're going to find out how high it's going to go by when, and most importantly, what you can do about it to really capitalize on this move that's just getting started. I've been talking about gold since $1,400 an ounce. I've been telling you guys to buy it from $1,600. I've been buying from $1,800. And I'm all about gold, and I have been for several years now. If you've been following me, you know that. Gold prices are just getting started. This move is going to be absolutely monumental. And please take a minute to click like. It really helps us out. It spreads the video to more like-minded people like us. I've been telling you for years why gold's going to go higher. There's a lot of reasons. It's not just central bank buying, which is what a lot of the media started pointing to when they're not understanding why gold made the move it made that I told you about ahead of time. And another big tide in this whole situation is the BRICS currency, which will be backed by gold. And there's a lot more countries now than just the original five. The BRICS currency is a bunch of countries, about 40% of the world right now, and they're going to be using their own currency. And I told you before, any country can use whatever currency they want. So don't give me these arguments or suggestions that the BRICS currency can never take over or be a competitor to the dollar. It already is in a lot of ways. But since it's going to be backed by gold, a lot of the countries that are joining this union are picking out on gold. India, China, Russia, and a lot of Asian nations are buying a lot of gold, even physical gold in the jewelry stores on the ground, because they understand the value of it, especially when the rest of the economy, housing, stock market starts going the wrong way. It will be no different here in America when it happens here in America. And according to the Iranian ambassador, the BRICS currency is coming soon. And a lot of other top guys have said the same thing. They haven't given a date, but it will be a matter of time. They've been working on it for decades. And then the main thing that I'm always telling you about is this massive economic breakdown. And as it plays out, and all the things that you know are wrong with the economy right now, we don't have to go through them. As it plays out, the U.S. dollar will be less valuable because of it's based on a weaker economy. As the economy slides, the dollar will also slide. As the dollar slides, that's going to be pushing the price of gold up. Comparatively, it'll seem like it takes, well, it will take more dollars to buy the same asset. But we've got these admittedly unpayable debts. These are unfunded liabilities. The reason that it's sort of okay, or the arguments that people will give you that it's okay, that the situation is set up is because the unfunded liabilities will be funded by the people of America as you pay into Social Security for example it's going to the last guy this is just a big Ponzi scheme and we've just passed one trillion dollars in the carrying costs on the federal debt over one trillion dollars just paid the interest on our credit card that could have filled a lot of potholes the US budget deficit reached 1.897 trillion for the first 11 months of the 2024 fiscal year and two awesome videos i have coming out very soon is the coming oil glut and silver squeeze part two you guys are going to love it that's why you want to subscribe to the channel you don't want to miss these videos i always tell you that gold is kind of like nature's insurance it's the world's only real money but it is kind of nature's insurance when there's chaos blood in the streets the price of gold always retains value and it always grows in value greater chaos means greater value and safer assets and this is not even to mention all the wars that are going on which are really giving a lot of price premium to the price of gold because of the risk premium the war premium the uncertainty and are you guys even watching what is going on in this war in the middle east people think it's just hezbollah shoots some rockets israel shoots back destroys some rocket launch sites and that nobody really gets hurt too bad except for a few people die that's what people think is going on but there's so much more if you're paying attention at all you're going to notice that israel is doing a textbook straightforward softening up the enemy to prepare for something that's why they're hitting certain targets that's why they struck in iran killed a guy in iran because there has to be a response to that and that response will be met with a massive bigger counter response that's what israel was trying to set up they're hitting very specific locations right now they're hitting weapons depots and launching sites to get ready for what could be a pretty serious confrontation you can see where a conflict is going by paying attention to what events are happening leading up to that point point. and the other thing that is 
really not good for the U.S. dollar. It'll be good for gold as a result of that. Is that the petrodollar is declining in use. There's a lot of nations with a lot of U.S. dollars that they would use to buy and sell oil that now they don't necessarily have to anymore. And the thing is that these nations that are using less of the petrodollar, using it less often, using the U.S. dollar less often to buy and sell oil, they get to decide what they use. So some of them who are technically kind of confrontational with us, they get to decide if they'll use less American dollars to buy oil. So when you have your enemies deciding if they'll do something good or bad for you, you kind of know what the decision is going to be. But what happens is if a nation doesn't need billions of or hundreds of millions of U.S. dollars anymore, they release those into the wild, I always say, where they could pay U.S. debts with U.S. dollars, or they could buy things from America in U.S. dollars, or they could exchange it for another currency or use it to another country in that country than he uses it to buy something from America. The point is, these dollars come back to American shores when they're no longer needed elsewhere. So we've got all of these dollars. The more of something there is, the less valuable each unit is. So there's all these U.S. dollars worth less, which means it takes more of them to buy any asset, such as a house or a painting or Bitcoin or gold. These are screen grabs from my personal trading accounts. This is what it looks like on a day where everything Peter Leeds has been telling you is playing out. And I've showed you guys that Japan and China are not only not buying American deficit debts anymore, not covering over our overspending, but they're selling the treasuries that they do own, the American debts, the IOUs that they have, they're selling them. They're not doing it maliciously, rather they're doing it each individual for different reasons, Japan and China, for their own domestic economies, which are in a little bit of trouble. China, a lot of trouble. And you add to this the massive monetary creation we are going to be getting, no matter who wins the presidency, first of all, but we're going to have all this money created beyond anything we've ever seen. You saw what happened so far. You guys have watched with me gold prices for a long time now. What do you think is going to happen when they do even more ridiculous monetary creation? This is all diluting the American dollar. And the more diluted it gets, the higher gold prices will continue to go. And we are about to have the biggest bout of dilution that we've yet seen, ever. It's something that could put gold well past $10,000 in an instant, but I'm not saying this is going to happen, is in what they should do is a U.S. dollar revaluation, devaluing the U.S. dollar. Sounds dramatic, but if you want to repair the economy and get things back on track properly, that would be step one. I don't think they're going to do it. Gold prices are going much higher, no matter how you look at it. I don't expect, and I'm not investing, hoping that they devalue the U.S. dollar or revalue gold against the dollar. I'm not investing with that hope. And this is all leading up to what is going to be huge. This week, there's a Federal Reserve interest rate decision where they're likely to lower rates by 25 basis points, maybe a half a percentage cut. We'll see. Don't worry about it. Everyone always obsesses over stuff like this. Just wait to see what happens and then react to it. Same with the election. You wait to see who gets elected and react to it. But what is all this leading up to? The land of double digits. I've told you about this. And don't forget, I'm going to tell you what to do so you can capitalize on this move in gold as it goes towards $10,000, and I'll say beyond, but it'll be pretty clear by that point. It leads to the land of double-digit everything. Double-digit inflation, double-digit unemployment, double-digit real estate losses, double-digit stock market losses, double-digit cryptocurrency losses, and double-digit declines in the value of the U.S. dollar. We're entering the phase of the quickening. Everything's happening now. I've been talking about stuff for years. It's all coming together now. I feel so vindicated. I hope you guys are listening to what I'm telling you because this is the time to get out of almost every stock you own. No, no, I can't say that. You do what you want. You make your own decisions. Live with the results of those. I don't know what you should do. I have no idea. I'm wrong 100% of the time. Most people, though, who listen to me will be wanting to get out of anything to do with stocks other than precious metals, select oil companies, and avoid almost everything else at that point. You can buy it all back later for less. Don't worry about it. You're not 
giving up on the company, if you love a company, sell it to buy back later. And I'm not saying that it's going to happen today, tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever. I'm saying that there's going to be strength in the stock market between now and about four and a half, five weeks from now. This is a time where I'm using any strength to do things like exit out of some oil companies that I think have reached maximum value for now. I do believe that the price of oil is going to decline. And we'll get into that later when you see the video about the coming oil glut. But for now, we're talking about $10,000 gold. And so far this year, gold has been one of the top performers of any asset class, up about 25%. But that's just a quarter of the way to where we're talking about in this video, 10,000. By when is it going to reach that point? I have no idea, but I have an educated guess. It would be by 2030. That's not that long away, actually. It's already 2024, almost over, or almost in 2025. So it's going to go up every year, every year, every year, until it gets to 10,000. Does it do it in five years, one year, 26 years? I don't know. But something like an escalation of the war could put it there immediately, a devaluation of the currency, all the U.S. dollars coming home to roost, an overly aggressive interest rate cut, an increase in the central bank buying, especially from all the BRICS countries, when the world starts to recognize that a thing like gold can actually outperform certain things like certain cryptocurrencies, other kinds of investments, high-flying stocks. A lot of these stocks like NVIDIA are coming down while gold is just climbing up higher, slowly, quietly, consistently. And what I tell you, I always tell you that you want to move to be slow and measured and consistent, and that means that it will be lasting. The faster something rises, the faster it falls. You don't want your investment spiking dramatically. You want it to slowly get healthier, stronger over time. That's when you actually make the greatest gains, even though it doesn't look like it on the charts. To take advantage of gold prices going to 10,000, silver prices going over $100, triple digits. You're going to want to get involved with some of the Peter Leeds approved gold and silver mining companies. I just told some of my friends, my girlfriend, my son, my daughter, my father, I put them all into these stocks. Everybody in the Peter Lee's newsletter should be in some of these stocks now. A lot of these silver companies will be tremendous. The gold mining companies, tremendous as well. In the video, it's about $10,000 gold, but silver is going to do quite dramatically as well. It will outperform gold. And is that a good way to invest, just to buy a bunch of gold? You should have some physical gold, but the way to make money in a shorter time frame is to invest in the mining companies. Peter Lee's approved mining companies that have low debt levels, high reserve life indexes, absolutely top-notch management teams, associations with the top mining gurus in the entire industry, operating a safe place with tremendous reserves, high-grade, super valuable, close-to-the-surface gold. The kinds of mining projects that have paved roads, a super healthy workforce, and are in close proximity to a little town and the port or the dock or the ocean so they can get whatever gold they mine out to China as fast as it can go. If you want to get involved with some of these companies, then you want to be subscribed to the Peter Leeds newsletter. If you want to learn for free from me, just join, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'll keep on telling you cool stuff. And I ask everyone to consider becoming a Peter Leeds insider. The benefits you get are a special exclusive newsletter just for people who are Peter Leeds insiders. You get direct contact with me by email and you can ask me anything you want. And the cost of it is the cost of a cup of coffee. Plus, it keeps us sponsorship free, which is awesome. You guys don't have to keep watching some boring ads or promotions that have nothing to do with what we're talking about. 